This is Coca Codo Sinclair, the biggest hydroelectric power plant in Ecuador. Construction began in 2010. Right now, four of its eight turbines are already running. On Friday, they will all be activated, timed to coincide with Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Ecuador. The plant will start pulling its full 1,500 megawatts into the country's electrical grid, providing one-third of its total energy needs. We are now at the heart of the power plant. The water is coming down 620 meters from the lake through these huge pipes and then into the turbine behind this wall. The noise we hear is that of electricity being generated. The plant was built with funding from China and the expertise of Chinese contractor Sino Hydro, and 30% of the construction force was Chinese. coca Codo Sinclair is an essential part of Ecuador's plan to increase its production of energy through renewable sources. For this Ecuadorian engineer, there is pride in being part of such a project. It's a very gratifying opportunity to be able to bring in my professional expertise to create this plant, to be able to do my part to reach the country's goals. Ecuador's energy minister says the six plants built with Chinese funding out of a total plant by the government were responsible for turning Ecuador from an importer of energy reliant on oil and gas into a self-sufficient country based on a cleaner source of energy. Energy consumers that historically had to rely on oil and gas can now switch to electricity. We have, for example, an efficient cooking program that promotes the substitution of bottled gas for electricity to cook and to heat water. This chain of bakeries has made the switch. Improvements in the country's electric system since 2008 allowed it to gradually switch most of the gas ovens in its eight shops to more efficient electric equipment. Now the owner hopes the domestic energy boost will bring down cost. We should pay lower prices since Ecuador now produces its own electricity. In our neighboring countries of Peru and Colombia, energy costs less than here. Let's hope that over the next month the government will look into this because lowering the cost of energy is a big incentive to entrepreneurs. With Ecuador's goal of generating more than 90 percent of its electricity by water on track, officials say they are now eyeing more export deals with their neighbors.